Hi, this is Anand here. In today's video, we'll see how to create this beautiful profile card hover animation effect in Elementor. If you see over here, we have an image over here, a name and designation. But once we hover over, the image slides up at the top in a circle and the ribbon name and designation goes at the top and then we have some description that slides up and at the bottom we have some social icons. So we'll see how to create this beautiful animation effect in Elementor. That too with only CSS. If you're not comfortable with CSS, I will also show how you can achieve this similar type of effect without writing a single line of CSS. So make sure to watch the complete video. So let's get right into it. So we are in the element editor. Now first of all, let's add a three column section. By the way, I'm using the latest flex version of Elementor. As you can see, it says container now. Now let's click over here. As you can see in the news, in the new structure, we don't have any three column section. So we'll add the four column section. I will do is delete one column and then change the width to 33.333. I will simply copy the style and then paste style, paste style. So we have a three column section over here. First of all, select this container and we'll set a minimum height to 560. We need to set a height for this CSS to work. Now we'll select this column and we'll go to advanced and we'll add a CSS class over here. We'll name it profile card. If you are finding this video helpful, hit the like button and share it on social media. That helps the video reach out to more people and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, as we saw in the demo, the kind of structure we are looking to achieve, there is no ready-made widget at the moment, at the time of recording this video at least, in Elementor that can cater our need. For that, we need to add multiple elements and then control it with CSS. Now first of all, I will add a container over here. Let's drag it over here. Let's go to advance. I will name this container PC PC front. PC stands for profile card. Now let's come over here. Now I will add an image box. Image box widget. This image box will become our front part of the profile card or rather front section of the profile card. Let's change the image first. I will choose this image. Set the image size to full. I will change the title to something like this. Then we'll remove this description. Instead, we'll add the designation. Rest is, we'll keep as it is. Then we'll go to styles. We'll change the spacing to zero. So there is less gap between the image and the text. And for the image, We'll set the width to 96%. Why 96%? We'll get to know later once we add the CSS. Let's scroll down in the content section. We'll set the alignment to left first and then spacing to zero. We'll change the typography and color later. So the front part of us profile card is ready. 
structure wise now we'll add another container over here let's drag it over here we'll add the add this container let's go to advanced we'll add this css class as pc back profile card back you have to add the class name exactly as i'm showing over here for the css to work let's come over here we'll add a heading widget over here this will become the description of our profile card we'll add this little text and change the heading tag to p in the demo we had social icons so we'll add a social icon widget let's drag it over here let's change the alignment to left and styles let's change the color to custom color let's add this color the shape will make it square so our structure is ready now we'll add we need to add some css magic let's select this main container by the way if you have any problems in selecting the containers you can use the navigator so just right click over here and click on navigator we need to select this container let's go to advance scroll down we'll click on custom css by the way custom css is only available in elementor pro if you are interested in elementor pro you can check out the link below it's an affiliate link and if you do decide to buy it from my link i will get a small commission that supports this channel and the website with that being said let's add the css see the magic now if i scroll over here you can see it's working it's almost there we need to tweak some settings first then i'll explain briefly the css first of all select the image box let's go to content style let's change the color to white the typography to we'll choose railway we'll set the font size to 22 pixel and the width to weight to 300 same goes for the description color we'll set the font size to 7 pixel and the weight to 600 now for the back background if you see over here it's white right now let's select this container let's go to style we can change the background color from here let's select this and let's choose a color something a color like this you can choose a bit lighter color yeah this looks much better and for the social icons go to advance click on background we can change the background color from here let's choose a little darker one from the background yeah this looks better as you can see we can control the background colors and everything almost almost everything from the widget sections now let me briefly explain the css first of all let's select this image box as is, as we did earlier we've set the width to 96 percent why if you check the ribbon over here it has wrapping effect over here to achieve this effect 
we had to set the width of the image to 96 percent if we had set this to 100 percent this we would not have been able to achieve this effect now let's come to this container over here let's click on advance let's click on custom CSS you must have noticed while we were editing we can change the background of this back then this social section and everything but there was no setting for this ribbon color because we are using CSS to color it now I've made it very easy for you to edit the colors just at the top we have set two colors the ribbon color and ribbon edge color if we change these colors it will change the ribbon color and this ribbon wrapping color so you can easily change that too this top section is for mobile and tablet version because as you can see we are using a hover effect over here and as you know as you might know hover doesn't work in tablet or mobile so this entire effect is for desktop only that's why I'm using a media query we'll check the mobile version in a bit first of all the main attraction of this profile card is this shrinking image effect and the title ribbon going from bottom to top for the image we are using absolute position and a transition for the animation once we hover on it we are changing, setting the border radius to 50 percent and the width and height to 60 pixels so it becomes a proper circle and for the content we are again using the absolute position then we are calculating the top so it places at the bottom of the image and then for the wrapping we are using before and after I will not go deep into this because it will take some time and then once we hover on the this section that is profile card we are setting the top to zero and then adjusting the padding to fit this image so, so the text moves slightly from the left and for the back section we can control almost everything from the editor and for this sliding effect we are basically if you see over here we are hiding the social icons and the widgets over here the heading widget and once we hover on it we are making them visible with little slide effect using the transition as I said this effect is only for desktop let's check the mobile version or tablet version it looks like this for this I've set the image with 200 person and I've aligned the social icon to center you can play around to make them as you like as you can control everything from the widget section for the mobile it looks like this let's go to desktop version again you can download the CSS from my website the link is in the description below now let's preview this it looks perfect it looks great couple of tips to edit this in case you have a bit smaller image this is more of a portrait image let's select this image If you change this image to more of a square image like this landscape type image let's insert this there's a gap over here to control this all you need is to select this container and change the main height you can adjust that once you are happy with it just leave it it will work perfectly 
one thing you need to keep in mind we need to use portrait type image so it creates a proper circle as you can see it's half circle because we are using more of a landscape type image so let's undo this second thing because we are not using a single widget over here we are using multiple elements as you can see over here it is little difficult to copy it so the best way to copy is select this container right click click on duplicate we have another copy over here now all we need is to remove one section let's select this last one then click on delete we have a copy now we don't have any gap between them let's select the container let's go to items and let's set the elements gap to 10 now we have gapping over here so with some CSS magic we can achieve this beautiful animation profile card animation effect but if you feel this is too much work for you to make things easy I've also created a widget for this animation effect let me show you how it looks let's go to this page i've created this widget it is little different from what we have over here it works on click rather than hover let's click over here see it is working as you can see in the editor section we have everything editable you can change the title from here designation you can change the color title color ribbon color directly from here ribbon edge description color social icon everything let's change the color over here let's make it more of a blue let's click on this you can see it's changing we have social icons you can set it from here you can set this as a like on urls so you can all control almost everything it is very easy to copy as well let's duplicate it you can simply drag it over here and you can change the colors everything It works perfectly. If you are interested in this widget, you can download that too from my website. The link is in the description below. I have created this widget using the unlimited elements for Elementor plugin. If you are interested in learning how to create widgets in this plugin, you can check the link in the description below or you can follow the video in the i button. So this is it for this video. If you have any question, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.